an impressive crowd. Welcome. Um, hey, before we start, I just wanted to make sure that you were all aware of the fact that there are some criminals loose around here. I don't know if you saw the wanted posters, but we just got those this afternoon. So if you guys could keep your eyes out, we really need to catch those guys, all right? They're somewhere loose, all right? Also, if you're sitting on the sides and you can't see, please pick up your chairs and, you know, move to the center if, if you can't see the stage. So, all right, um, I'm Sarah Mall, and I've had the privilege of leading the drama class this semester. stretch them and give them an opportunity to do a very challenging play this semester and they really stepped up to the challenge they worked hard and very proud of them I know you all will be too we are presenting a 40-minute one-act comedy called after hours and our play is set in a small clothing boutique on a downtown street all right so ladies and gentlemen for your entertainment I give you the Southeast Missouri Homeschool Players and After Hours. But it could 
be one of your relatives. You wouldn't want them to stay all night in the box, would you? It could be a long lost California cousin. Rookie! Shipping is so expensive these days. This trip cost me an arm and a leg. <laughs> regular comedian. Excuse me, but could you get me some nicer clothes? It seems someone forgot to dress me properly before throwing me in this box. I'll find you something. Something debonair without being too fit that. Something that says cheap, but stop short of trim. Please tell me you didn't dress yourselves. No, I like it a lot. I shall return, like Jack out of the box. I'd say we tape it shut. I heard that. Can you help me find the tape? Can you point me to the automotive department? Look around. See any auto parts? Well, no. Not in the clothes department. Are the escalators over there? Not in the clothing department. You're in a clothing store. What you see is what you get. So, clothes? That's it. No automotive parts anywhere? He catches on quick, doesn't he? <laughs> clothes? How can a place stay in business with just clothes? You'd be surprised how many people wear them. <laughs> I knew something was wrong as soon as you opened the box and I couldn't smell any of those pine tree air fresheners. This nose knows. All the way here I sat in those curly cues, dreaming of sprockets and grommets and solenoids. Are those real automobile parts or did he just make those words up? You must love motor vehicles. You bet I do. I have a dream. One of these days, I'm out of here. No more holding a pose for months at a time and not blinking. No more street urchins pressing their grimy little noses against the window trying for a stare down. No more standing all day with a crooked hairpiece because someone was careless putting it on your turtleneck, which you never wanted to wear in the first place because it was yellow and because it was a turtleneck. You're talking modeling, I take it. Modeling? Is that what you call it? Listen, sister, we're nothing more than glorified clothing. But to prove that we increase sales, we're good for business. You might be, but look at this face. I'm usually only in the Halloween displays. So what's your big drink? Haunting a castle? 
I bet it has something to do with cars, except they won't let us make kids drive. I'm going to drive. One of these days, I'm going to be a crash test dummy. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> Talk about excitement. I've got goosebumps just thinking about it. And polyurethane goosebumps don't come easy. <laughs> I had an uncle who was a crash test dummy. He liked it, and I guess he did quite well. I'm sure he was a smashing success. <laughs> what are they doing over there? I think that's the Woolworth, Woolworth Wiggle. Approaching! Where do I go? It's stuffy in there.